Hey everyone, it's Robert. Welcome back to Rob Unwraps. Today we're going to take a look at the Portal by Bang & Olufsen. These were specially designed for the Microsoft Xbox Series home console. Just to clarify, also I did not receive a copy of these early. I did not have to curry any favor to get them. I had to pay $500 just like you will. Yes, these are $500 and we're going to find out is a $500 headset really worth it for your home console? Let's get these unwrapped. All right, we've got the Bang and Olufsen Portal wireless gaming headphones for the Xbox. This is a limited series. I got the black. I'm sure there's a fancier name for them. Didn't need the, re the razor to cut these open. Just went ahead and pulled the plastic off. There's no seal. All right, go ahead and open this up. As you can see... are some paper boxes in here, which it's got a 3.5 millimeter audio cable, portal activation for Dolby Atmos for headphones, so it comes with Dolby Atmos. Other box comes with a gray USB-C cable for charging, and then we have down here at the bottom a nice quick start guide. Pretty heavy card stock that it's on. One sheet. Pop these out. We've got protective stickers over the B&O logo. here over the top and that's it not much to unwrap on these on the unboxing that's a nice smooth action right there notice the ear cuffs left and right not faux leather on this nice and soft. This is more of a mesh material. It's nice and soft too. It's a good flex. Pretty light. Let's go ahead and try them on. See how they fit. Okay, so these are now the most expensive headphones that I have ever owned. And for $500, I hope these feel like an angel's halo has landed on my head. Let's find out. All right, so this is the third set of headphones I've had on today. I've had uh, the Steel Series Arctic 7, I've had Turtle Beach 600s, and now I've had these Bang & Olufsen Portals. And of the three, this definitely feels much better than the Turtle Beach headset. Super light, feels good. Doesn't press on the glasses too much, so that's always a nice bonus. Not aware wear them for a while and see how they hold up. But so far, they definitely don't feel like an angel has placed a halo on my head. Engineered for gaming, designed for life. BioPlay Portal are powerful, comfortable headphones designed to fit harmoniously into your life, whether gaming, listening to music, or on calls. That's a lot of wonderful, flowery copy from their PR department. But these do wirelessly connect to your PC for chat, to interact and listen to music during office hours, answer calls on your phone, or then jump into a full-on gaming experience with seamless Xbox connectivity when it's time to relax. You'll notice that it doesn't have a boom arm, and that's because it has an innovative virtual boom arm. An array of microphones amplify your voice while filtering out background noise, allowing for complete freedom of movement and high-quality speech performance. I will say that these did have a very extended range also when it mentions freedom that I was able to walk away from either my phone or my Xbox while the headphone was connected and still be able to hear the music track that was going on in the background. BioPlay Portal's rich audio experience delivers all the detail and nuance that make your game come to life. 
In addition to expert tuning from Bang & Olufsen, sound engineers, BioPlay Portal features Dolby Atmos for headphones to create unparalleled immersion through spatial audio. Designed for extended wear and weighing only 282 grams for a lightweight and comfortable fit, memory foam, breathable materials, and jaw-supporting ear cushions improve acoustics and comfort. The headband features innovative offset padding to relieve pressure. That's what they claim. I didn't really feel that. It pressed pretty evenly around the entire circumference of the cuff. This was designed in collaboration with Xbox as part of their unique limited series accessory range. BioPlay Portal will connect seamlessly with your Xbox for an instant gaming experience. Built-in lossless 2.4 gigahertz wireless connectivity delivers a rock solid connection allowing full gaming immersion with precise and powerful Bang & Olufsen sound. I did have a number of issues where it dropped sync with the Xbox and with my phone, so your mileage may vary, but I would think for a $500 device that it should probably be a little bit better at that since I have never had that problem with the $100 Microsoft headphones that came out about a month ago. The expertise of our world-class engineers combined with advanced Dolby Atmos enables surround sound means that BioPlay Portal offer an unparalleled gaming experience, precise, immersive sound that puts you right in the heart of the action. That can't be argued with. The sound on these is fantastic. The Bang & Olufsen app includes original features allowing you to create the ultimate gaming experience. You can change your EQ using gesture controls, enjoy both gaming and music via dual connectivity options, or enjoy a better voice balance when using your mic with own voice technology. Choose the right setup for your session, whether it's suspenseful solo mission in your RPG or a lively football match played with friends. It claims to do dual channel. I could never get that to work. It would only do one or the other. And this right here is one of the reasons it costs as much as it does. BioPlay Portal headphones are crafted from premium, lightweight, and strong materials. Finely milled aluminum, soft and durable lamb skin on the ear cups, composite polymer that lasts forever, and knitted bamboo fiber textile for breathability and comfort. These headphones do feel good, even after wearing them all day long. And they sound great too. Okay, so this is the BioPlay Portal audio test. Testing, testing, one, two, three. This is the BioPlay audio test. How does the mic sound? Let's find out. So bar none, these are some of the most comfortable headsets after a period of time that I've ever had. I put them on and wore them predominantly throughout the entire day, uh, doing work, listening to music. Music sounded great. Uh, Played a little MLB 21 the show. Made sure to watch some demo reel to really soak in the Dolby Atmos. And that kind of helps to reconcile how you can have a $500 headset, especially in the console space, when you consider the fact that this, the Xbox Series X, is $500. So the headsets cost as much as the console. This, the Xbox Series S, which only costs $300. So that headset cost $200 more than the console that you'd play it on. Or it costs more than all four of these headsets put together. And then I sat there and looked at my monitors and I realized, well, audio is just another sense and many of us wouldn't bat an eye at spending three to $500 on a monitor, so, or thousands of dollars on a TV. Why do we balk when it comes to spending $500 on headsets? I mean, this is, you know, it's under 300 grams, it's pretty light. If you've seen my other videos, you know that I really don't like leather ear cuffs, whether they're real or fake. I prefer cloth, but these actually ended up being really comfortable and I didn't have really any issues retaining heat throughout the day. One thing I will say is that the cuff does feel a little small and it forces my ear to kind of curl a little bit to fit in it. Not too keen on that, I do prefer the headsets that have more of an oval shape because it makes it easier to fit, it's more comfortable. I'd say my biggest complaint with the headset, besides the app functionality, is the touch buttons. And it's because they're not really buttons. I mean, they're sensors that you rub your finger on. They're not really buttons. And you can tap the plates and get them to work, and it never really worked well for me. Also, the microphone sounds a little metallic. Uh, I did talk to people on my phone with it, on conference calls. Most of them said I sounded okay. However, when I recorded my own voice, testing one, two, and for the mic test, it, it didn't sound quite right. 
One thing that does work really well with these is the active noise cancellation. It, it did a great job. I had people come over to my house today, ring the doorbell. I sit very close to the doorbell, didn't even hear it. So <laughs> I don't know whether that's a good thing or a bad thing on how well it does work. And it also helped drown out the barking dogs when they just set each other off and get a little annoying. That said, it takes a little bit to get used to because at first when you put it on and you start that noise cancellation, it applies pressure to your ear. It kind of feels like you're on an airplane. Um, and I had my son check it out too to see what he thought. And he put them on, he's like, oh, I don't like these. And I was like, why not? He's like, it just feels weird. I was like, let's play with the active noise cancellation settings on the, on the app, on the phone. And he expressed the same concern. He just didn't like the way it feels. So, it's, it doesn't take that long to get used to, but it is a little bit uncomfortable at first, so beware of that. But like I said, my biggest complaint really is the ability to, the way this ties with the app, with, which the app is a really nice feature. However, it just didn't do what I hoped it would. And actually using two different inputs at the same time to include your Bluetooth device and the Xbox in the balance between the two. It was really, you couldn't really just hook it up to your phone and play music through it and listen to your Xbox. It, it wouldn't allow for that. It would either do one or the other, but not both at the time and you couldn't balance it. But you can do that with other headsets. It's a small little nuance, but at this kind of price point, you would think it would be able to handle something like that. Kind of a pain point and not something you would expect from a premier product like this. So. If you are an audiophile and you're looking at this simply as a high quality sound, not that concerned about the mic or chat functions, then this sounds really good. I don't know that I can say it sounds $500 good, but it sounds really good. And it sounds as good, if not better, than any $350 set. I'm looking at you Astro 850s that I've used in the past that also have, you know, digital surround sound and features like that. I'm Rob, thanks for watching. And remember, if you enjoyed this video or found value from it, make sure to hit that like button and consider subscribing because it really helps out the channel. Thanks, and remember to let me know in the comments below what other devices you'd like to see me unwrap on the channel.